Hi, this is y o u n l a b 안녕하세요. 만나서 반가워요. Starting today and continuing for the next few classes, you will learn about conjugation of sentence final endings according to speech levels. Today, as an introduction, I'd like to briefly talk about the feature of a Korean verbs and the concept of sentence final endings. There is a saying, you have to listen to Korean until the end. Yes, of course, when someone speaks, we must listen to the end. But this is crucial in some languages, especially in Korean. This is because the verbs that contain important information come at the end of the sentence. Korean language follows the subject, object, verb, sentence order. Take a look at the verb. The verb comes at the end of a sentence. On the other hand, this is clearly different from the English sentence order S, V, O. In English, auxiliaries and verbs appear right after the subject at the beginning of a sentence. Going back to Korean, one of the important features of Korean language is that Korean verbs are conjugated. Every verb form has two parts, a verb stem plus a sentence final ending. The ending is directly attached to the verb stem without a space. So verbs can be quite long because of all the endings that mark a grammatical contrast. These endings are numerous but regular and ordered. For example, Grammatical categories of verb ending include tense, such as present, past, or future, voice, such as passive or causative forms, sentence styles, such as declarative, interrogative, imperative, suggestive, and speech levels, such as honorifics. There are over 40 basic endings but over 400 when the combinations of these endings are counted. Yes, Korean has highly complex conjugation systems. Here are some examples of verb conjugation that occur in tense. 먹다 is a basic form or called the dictionary form. It corresponds to to eat. 먹 is its stem and ta is its ending. To make the present tense, remove ta and add the ending oyo. 먹어요, I eat. 먹었어요, I ate. 먹을 거예요, I'm gonna eat. Like this, ta is replaced with the appropriate form depending on the speaker's intention. 먹다, 먹어요, 먹었어요, 먹을 거예요. Now let's check other final endings in various sentence types. For example, I wanna eat. Is 먹고 싶어요. 먹고 싶어요. I can eat. Is 먹을 수 있어요. 먹을 수 있어요. You can also make questions. Shall we eat? Becomes 먹을까요? 먹을까요? May I eat? becomes 먹어도 돼요? 먹어도 돼요? In English, when making a question, the sentence order changes by putting the auxiliary shall or may at the beginning. But this does not occur in Korean. 
This is because the ending 을까요 or 얻어 돼요 already contains the meaning and the function of an interrogative sentence. On the other hand, there is another significant difference between Korean and English when it comes to adjectives. Korean verbs are typically classified into four categories. Action verbs, descriptive verbs, existential verbs, and the copula. That is, there is no identical grammatical category in English. Korean action verbs correspond to verbs in English, and stative verbs correspond to adjectives. The existential verbs correspond to to exist or to have. Itta is translated as there is or I have, while opta is translated as there is not or I don't have. On the other hand, copula, the linking verb, corresponds to be verbs in English. Ida is the positive form similar to am, are, is, and anida is the negative form. So, ida and anida express the identity of the subject and the complement. Going back to adjectives, stative verbs in Korean is a kind of verb, so it has verb-like characteristics. That's why they share the same conjugation as action verbs. Okay, let's take a look at stative verbs. From now on, I will refer to stative verbs as adjectives. In English, the be verb is always required before an adjective, resulting the constructions like be plus adjective. However, in Korean, endings are directly added to adjective stems as if they were verbs. For instance, 작아요, it's small. 작았어요. It was small. 작을 거예요. It will be small. You can also make questions. 작을까요? Will it be small? 작을까요? 작아도 돼요? Is it okay if it's small? 작아도 돼요? Based on today's lesson, you will learn about speech levels in the next class. 안녕히 계세요.